Hello and good afternoon everybody, this is Tonic TZW and we are here in the tier 4 hill which is the ship that you could get as a reward for racing round and round in circles in some cartoony style boats which I really did not have the time nor could I be bothered to keep racing round those cartoon boats for all of the um, racing legends coins so sorry wow's legends that isn't something that was for me um, i played a few games but we left it there so instead i uh, had some credits left on my account a few doubloons and so um, i added a couple to it and i picked up the tier 4 hill because i love my destroyers and i thought that um, this might be something that would uh, really add to my port and um, this I think was only my fourth or fifth game out for it getting a feel for it and uh, as has been the case recently there's a prevalence of aircraft carriers so I wasn't feeling too confident going into this game in a relatively new boat with four destroyers and a carrier and then a load of battleships in there and um, we spawn on the right side of the map we've got the carrier behind us who actually does a very good job but we have a kamikaze bs out there which i think is the asian region version of the kamikaze blue sky i think it stands for but we've also got a jaguar so we've got two quite decent dds one for torps and one for guns pushing us down and um Trailing behind them is at least two of the red team battleships. Now, the other ship out to my right hand side is a Mutsugi, which isn't known for being one of the best gunboats in the game. However, he seems determined to get himself involved in a gunfight. So I can see that he's got smoke running, so I'm going to stay out here and keep twisting and turning and going back and forth across the cap just to try and keep things spotted for him because if he's in smoke and they can't see him then hopefully he can land some shots on but uh, hopefully he's sensible enough not to sit in his smoke permanently because we all know that that is a recipe for disaster for destroyer captains so I'm going to start laying fire onto this kamikaze BS because I want to have a go with these guns but he's quite a slippery customer and is forever twisting and turning and although we've got the Nevada out there as well, I'm still spotted um, because they're in range and I'm shooting my guns. So I hit my smoke. I take some hits off the Allegheny, but I think thankfully he was firing AP, which probably saves my skin from being broadside against a full salvo of HE from him. Now we know there's still a Jaguar scooting around out here somewhere. Now I know these um, battleships aren't in range, but what I'm doing is I'm putting these torpedoes out there to try and stop either of these DDs from pushing in too close. And while the Mitsugi has these guys spotted, um, I'm going to lay on the guns as well. And we've got our Jaguar there. We've got the Allegheny and we've got a Nevada and then the Kamikaze. So they're pushing down pretty hard. Those DDs know that they're backed up. And uh, our Mutsuki has overextended just a little, I think. So I'm doing what I can to keep the fire on these guys. The best thing he could have done was to drop detection and back out of there. But he's going to keep shooting. So give him his due. He's doing his bit for king, queen or emperor of the country. Um, I'm literally backwards and forwards like a yo-yo across this side of the cap. Trying to do what I can to keep things spotted. We're lucky in that our carrier seems to be doing his bit for us, um, but all the while on the other side of the map, the red team carrier is doing his bit for their team. And uh, we've already lost two DDs and a battleship over there, and we're no closer to getting the cap than we were at the very start of the game. So, it looks like We've lost our Mutsuki here. Has he gone already? No, he's come through onto the cap. I thought he might have Engine gone by now. Activated. I'm spotted. It's the Jaguar again, pushing down closer. So I'm just going to lay fire onto him and try and turn, because I know not all French DDs have an amazing turret traverse. So I'm going to lay some fire on, 
and then I'm going to turn out of there myself. And I'm going to use these little islands to drop detection as and when I can. But all the while, looking to get fire onto a target. Now the Matsuki's gone, because he did get himself focused by not dropping detection. And I guess that the uh, red team destroyers know where our carrier is. Um, because they're going to start pushing hard now, knowing they've only got me to contest with on this side of the cap. Now, I do my best to not let that happen. I stay on the guns, I keep twisting, I keep turning, I get picked up, I drop detection. Both those DDs are wailing on me at the moment, and I'm just glad that Kamikaze keeps shooting his guns, because it just lets me know where he is. Requesting support. So I know they're pushing for our character, so I'm coming back down from this cap. Kamikaze spotted, we'll get some fire on him. We drop detection behind the island. We're coming back out of the cap. We can see the Jaguar. And although he's a fast boat, um, I don't know if he starts playing with his throttle now, but um, I'm normally quite good at leading fast ships with a DD. But we switch our aim point a little now and then. Our carrier, for whatever reason, does not move from his corner of the map. And he just sits there, which is just begging for these guys to put their torpedoes at him. I hit the brakes here. And that saves me from a couple of shots coming over. Now you'll notice that we are, what, seven minutes, nearly eight minutes into the game. And I still don't have a kill. And yet this video is entitled Kraken number 73. But well, we pick our file first on the Jaguar. And next is the Kamikaze who's starting his run in. And I've still got those two battleships trailing behind him. We've got the carrier doing what he can to keep this guy spotted and get bombs on him. But he's um he's just not moving. Smoke generator started. Yeah, Kamikaze does a good job on me with his HE there. Critical I know the carrier's got his planes up. So I am going to use the smoke to drop detection, get some fire on the kamikaze, but I'm not stupid, so I'm not going to sit in this smoke. Torpedoes to port. Now the kami is dropping his smoke. Luckily for me, smoke the aeroplanes from the carrier spot his destroyers. Now I'm guessing the kami knows Torpedoes he's low health, port. he's overextended a little bit, he has got back up. But um, the fact that I come out of my smoke and I'm not spotted means that he's still in his smoke. So I'm going to do what all good DD captains do when they have a DD in a smoke screen. I'm going to fire my torpedoes through there. And I'm not going to engage those battleships with my guns. Because uh, that Kami sat in a smoke can quite easily pick me off. I'm down to, what, 25% of my health pool at the moment. I've still only got one kill, but we're going to kite back a little bit, let those torpedoes do their running, and wait for um, a little bit of support from the other side, because all they seem to be doing is they chase the carrier up the side of the map, and um, the kamikaze did not learn the lesson Enemy of sitting in his sunk. smoke. So I pick up kill number two, and there's his torpedoes coming through my smoke, but obviously I'm not there. So we have the Nevada and the Allegheny out to our front, and if you look at them, they've actually crashed into each other. And that's going to take them a little bit of time to get unstuck. Now, a couple of times as I push through this game, um, I do check my detection and my torpedo range, like just there. Um, because it takes me a while to um, remember everything about the ships that I do play. The ones I play the most, yeah, I know those off by heart. And uh, as these two were stuck together, um, one might say like two dogs knotted, if you know the term, um, it's going to take them a little while to get pulled apart again. And it's going to take them a little while to get moving again. So those torpedoes should run Engine quite nicely. Activated. Now their spotter planes aren't going to do them any good here. They might pick up those torpedoes, but uh, whether or not they can get moving in time. I don't know. We are just ahead on points and really um, it's four players three. 
or should I say, it's four players two. And that pulls us up. Kill number three. My torpedoes are just reloaded. And I apologise for my phone going ding there in my pocket. I did forget to set it to silent before I started recording. So the Congo, realising that he's um, now spent far too long sat at the back of the map, whether or not he's been doing anything to the guys that are pushing across from a cap, I don't know. He's lost pretty much half his health pool. But I'm looking and I'm thinking if I was a battleship, what am I going to do? I'm going to use that island for some cover. Because he doesn't want to be taking broadsides off anybody. And so I spam my torpedoes. Not exactly where he's going to be, but where I think he's going to be by the time they reach him. Now, the Nevada's broadside, he's going away from us. And again, I check my detection. I'm thinking, what can I do? And I'm looking at the Congo. I'm coming away a little bit because I'm wary of that Nevada turning back into me. And uh, the Congo have me spotted. Now I put the last set of torpedoes out at the Nevada. And the torpedoes are just about to run in on the Congo. And that gives us kill number four. And a high caliber with 80,000 damage. Which isn't really high but we are down at tier four. So the Nevada is the last man on the map. We have two battleships and another destroyer on blue team and they all want this kill because nobody realises how hard I've been working across here and I'm thinking I want my bloody Kraken out of this one. So I start spamming the HE because my torpedoes run out because he turned away. And what I'm looking for is get some fires on this guy get them ticking because there's always that slight little chance that even if somebody else hits them with torpedoes or main guns that the fire tick will pick up the damage and that does work because I've actually had a Kraken with about 24,000 damage before. So we're just going to lay the fire on this guy, volleying the shots, single, single fire, spreading them across the ship keeping an eye on the direction that his guns are facing because we don't want him to turn towards us. Now we see that the other destroyer has fired a full spread of torps at this guy and I'm thinking at this point I've missed this now. He's gone. But they all miss! And I've got a fire burning. It's still ticking. The guy is getting lower and lower in health. And I just keep laying on the fire as everybody is trying to take this fifth kill from me. There is no kill stealing on a scuffler. But I get it. Kraken unleashed. Fifth kill. The first for my tier 4 hill. With just under 105,000 damage. And we take home 2,386 base XP. Not a bad game in all. Thank you for watching. And please do check the other videos on the channel.